Okay guys, the map behind this whole thing is really important. Um, there's two series of maps you need to do. One is for the Holmes Law, so you can balance your system electrically and then you kind of know where all the heat's gonna go and all the, like what you need for components. And the other part of the map is the gauze calculation. But let's start with the basics. So on this side, I input my data. I got a 24 volt power supply capable of giving me six amps. We're gonna use 20 gauge wire. I'm gonna have five coils. I can change these, this entry right here basically, right? So five coils in series, and then we're gonna have two series in parallel with each other. Same way I showed you in the video. The size of the coil is 95 mil, which is the propane bottle that we wrap it around. Now, it's really important for the coil diameter to be entered in the formula because that gives us the length of the wire of each wrap. And then we multiply it by how many wraps we're going to have, in this case 95 wraps. Then we're going to add 4 ohms of external resistor to the, to the system. And on this side it spits out to me, using Ohm's law and data from the resistance of the wires and etc. Um, what we're going to be using. So in this case, we're going to be using 3.77 amps, which is 62.89% of what our power supply can do. It's good. You're going to keep it below 80% or you're going to burn it up. You're going to burn the power supply. It's just power supplies, even though they say 6 amps, they can provide 6 amps for a little bit, but if you provide it all the time, it's going to heat up and just go kaput on you. So in this case, we're going to have 3 watts of heat per coil. The whole mat will provide 33.61 watts of heat. And the external resistor, the 4 ohm resistor that we added, is going to soak up 56, 57 watts of heat, which is excellent. This is what we're putting a fan in our box. And I'll show you another system right away here that um, allows the resistor just to, to vent out. So this is the Ohm's law, basically. 